What's going on, everyone? Kame here. My voice is still getting straight. I think I'm streaming too much on stream. But hey, I'm streaming right now on GG underscore. Check it out. Links down in the description. Say it a lot. People still come to my stream said, I don't know you stream. And I'm like, bro, I talk about it all the time. Anyway, uh, we're going to play Maldamba. Maldamba got built into his kit the ability to have uh, Eerie Presence. What's Eerie Presence? Eerie Presence is the thing that reduces the cooldown of you if you miss your Mending Spirit. So now we're only having a level one Mending Spirit. So we're able to bump up our Mending Gourds to a five. So let's go ahead and do this. Do this. Pop ourselves back down. And we're good to go. Hello? Auto run? My auto run button broke? No, no, no. We good. We good. I need to go over to the left because people are getting... Okay, need to go back this way. Oh, no. Ooh. Okay, Duxie, now I need to heal you. Sorry. My... No! I know you need healing, but just move. Just... Okay, we're good. Just chill for a second, all right? Ouchies. Put a gourd on point. Oh, man. See, the reason I love Valdamba so much is it's like... The one healer that doesn't have any auto aim shenanigans, so I never get. Oh, thank you for this. I never get annoyed by like I wanted to heal someone, but I healed someone else, you know. And if I miss my heal, it's because I'm bad, and I'm okay with being bad. I have no idea what's shooting me. Oh, it was the person behind us, apparently. Good to know. Good to know. So let's check to see how much with Chronos one, and we miss the heal. Let's see what the cooldown is. Okay, there's a level one eerie presence plus the built-in. Not bad. I'm gonna put that way up in the front. I got you, boys. I got you. Damba do feel like the perfect healer. Is he the best healer? Not really. Mm. But is he my favorite healer? Yes. I don't know how to speed up my talking without increasing my volume. Those are just, they come hand in hand, you know? Wait, no, oh no. Wanted to get that Saris down. I'm pretty sure it's a Soul Collector Saris and she can suck a, a banana. I don't like bananas. I do occasionally get cravings for bananas, you know? And then I'm just like, why did I want this banana? Why am I getting flanked by McPips every time? Like, I don't know where I'm getting. I would rather eat a McRib than get flanked by McPips, you know? I'm tired. Buy level two chronos. Let's go. Screw you, big pips. Gotcha. You're not really one to test this, mainly because you rarely miss. Oh, Panini. What a what a nice thing to say. Hey, to me, to me, he'll always be at the top of my list. You know what I mean? I think that they should maybe, I think they should maybe make it so they double, like there should be a level two eerie presence version of, if you miss, built into the kit. And I think that would be a good start because I think it's currently a level one version. Nuxie, you're my favorite. Dude, he saw where I was at. What a gamer. What an absolute baller. Cool. We're fine, we're fine. Ooh, missed him. Copper heal. Okay. Gord. Can I just ninja this? Probably not. Ah! It hurts. It burns when I pee. It burns when I PvP. Bing bong. Bing bong. I'm in here, boys. Okay, didn't work out very well. It, ah! The straps on the back of my chair just like turned and it felt like someone grabbed my back and I freaked out. And I screamed like a little baby. You guys hear that? You guys, you guys see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is definitely what just happened right there. All right. You just played a match against Verb. What an honor. He is a, he is a, a sexy, sexy man. What's going on, everyone? Me here. Kill that Soul Collector Saris for all the glory. Suck it, Soul Collector Saris. <laughs> well. Listen, Khan's fat butt got in the way there. Come on, dash back down. Dash back down. Nope. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just need to... Yeah. Probably should have healed Burp the entire time that I was... We seen to time this dash when she comes through. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Boop, boop, boo doo 
Is she playing Saute? I think Queen's playing Saute. Okay, that's fair. They got changed. They got changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe they're caught or dead zoned. I can't do anything about that. I'm going to sit here by the shade of my tree. Oops, we missed. That is too bad. Yeah, level two Kronos does not feel great with the amount of area presence that I have. That's too bad. Is there someone behind me again? What is just randomly hitting me? I feel like I'm playing Borderlands, just dying from things that are hitting me from across the map. I thought I quit that game. I thought I was done with it. Turns out I'm not. That's dead zone. Oh, but he's gonna have to back out into that before he can get heals more. Okay, that's good, that's good. Nuxie's trying to pull someone off the map. He gets punished for it. He says, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Yes, verb, I love it. Screw that soul collector, Saris. All right, we're pushing. We're going in hot. We're not going in hot anymore. Did we just get this kill? Yep. Sorry, didn't know you were there. Going for a stun kill? It's coming out. <laughs> he ran into it. Let's go. Ooh, that works. Malaya! Got you, got you. He says, Ella Mayo. Am I right? I'd like some Ella Mayo on my sandwich, please. No mustard. Lame. I was out of ammo. <laughs> Me too. Me too. No, no. She's doing it again. Oops. That was badly timed. Wasn't even hitting me. I actually almost dashed into it. What a gangster. Oh, no, it's bad. Oh, kill that Saris. Kill her in her stupid face. Homie just searched me out. What a bee. I'm going to I'm gonna solo ult that Saris next time. I just have an extreme hatred for soul collector Saris. I don't know what it is. I know what it is. It's depressing. It's depressing going up against them. They do shoot balls in your face. It's rude. Only people, you, you're gonna like someone who just comes at you and just throws balls in your face? No, of course not. I kind of want to miss a heal, but also I don't want to miss a heal right now. Bung, 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 bung. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to. We're not gonna be able to do much here. Oh, we got an overtime proc. Nice. Is there. Will you stop, Mick Pips? What's wrong with you? Did your mother not teach you manners? Hmm? You're welcome. Rude. Oh, my goobers. Can we say this is going to happen? It's going to happen, yo. Sometimes it just happens. Guess we can go ahead and grab Brazilians. I don't know exactly what it's going to help out with. Just the Saris pull. I even seen the Amani ult once. Legitimately, they have an Amani? I'm so confused. Like, no disrespect, yo. Okay, Nuxi. Are you getting pushed? We just grabbed a homie? I found I found him. Uh-huh. Okay, I'll get on point. I'm gonna point. I'm a healer. Did I hit that? I don't think I hit that. I want to get the range and I can hit that. Uh, whoop. Nope. Little fat, fat, fatty guy on the way. Hey, there's the Amani ult. And then, then we... Oh, she waited for it, dude. With the... I killed her? I'm so confused. I'm so confused right now. I don't know what's happening. Herb, come back for the heals. Yeah, you're welcome. I couldn't get the taunt off in time. The Gord killed him? Okay, that makes sense. I don't even remember Gording. <laughs> Dude, I'm... Where am I? Ah, 12-minute game, and I'm able to pull out 121,000 healing. Camping is a sign of bad players. Camping? That's aggressive zoning. <laughs> oh, man. Aggressive head pads. Camping around an objective. I know, right? Big brain. What an epic gamer. He never set up shop. He was moving the entire time. Anyway, uh, let's go into let's go into a second game and try out Eerie Presence 2. Where, uh, thoughts are in the chat that before at level three Chronos and you had three Eerie Presence, you could spam it very quickly. I want to test this. Hold on a minute. All right, so this is what we're testing. 
we went to the training ground and i used eerie presence at a five and boy did it not it, it already removed my my cooldown level four eerie presence alone in the training ground made it so my heal was instant let's see what happens here so here's what i'm thinking that built-in eerie presence that's in the kit is just not working i think we're literally just playing I think we're literally just playing regular Damba here. I think that I think that's what's happening. And then here's with the zero eerie presence. Okay, this is what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna try playing with zero eerie presence in our build. There's the loadout that we're gonna be going with. Let's see how it goes. And then he says you don't even need it. You move. You, you never miss a heal. Now I'm nervous. Now I'm gonna miss all my heals. Apparently, mommy's got all of the the, the Grover loadouts are gone. What are we going up against? They don't have a tank, do they? What's up with people not playing tanks? Are they overrated or what? Articuno. Yes. Ooh. Got you, girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Soul Collector doing work, as always. Soul Collector can suck a D, as always. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good stuff, good stuff. And I'm on points. And I'm doing things. Uh oh, there's a mine. I can't do anything about it. It's theirs, not mine. I learned that. I learned that Gord from Panini watching his coach Kami, by the way. The best, best Damba player. Check him out. Twitch.tv slash Panini. Dash Damba main. This is, is his Twitch name. Check him out. Yeah, it's a little bit of a bummer. It doesn't look like it's working very well. But also, this is a good test for me just to see how much area presence is actually important. Because there are some times where you just miss a lot, man. You're like, man, I wish I could. Like that. I don't feel like I missed that. So that's just paladins being paladins. But there are also times where you miss and then eerie presence doesn't work. Like the, the proc doesn't work. It's like, oh, you miss, but you don't get the reduced cooldown. And it's like, why do I have eerie presence in my build? You know? My special concoction. Seems silly. Panini TV dash Damba player underscore ham underscore live on Twitch. On Twitch live. Sorry. Missed that up. My apologies. Great pumpkins. I did need that. Oh, there seems to be seedlings. I guess I left that at the perfect time. <laughs> uh, I feel a little bit more stress on like hitting my heels, but at the same time, it's like whatever, you know? I'm kind of okay without El Fato Runos. Wish to communicate. Ouchies, my face. Oh no. You never know sometimes. I got you. There's two misses so far. We're gamers that are accepting that we don't hit every shot. Because people are moving around like a million. One second or 1.5 seconds if you want Dama to not have to use the card. Okay. You have my gratitude. Yes. I think the biggest thing for me is like I don't really see mm, the benefit You're of not right. putting eerie presence in my deck because all I have to do is like drop possession down by one and swift spirits down by one and then or maybe like mini gourds down by one or something I lose like a little bit of cooldown or whatever and then like then I have eerie presence and it does so much but there's just not other loadout cards I'm like man I wish I had that but maybe I need to investigate more nice wall this is a good. Yeah, that's bad. 1.5 seconds. Let me know down in the comments if you're watching this video right now. Let me know what you think an appropriate built in eerie presence is. And if it's 1.5 seconds, do you think eerie presence should even be in the game as a loadout card? Like, if you get refunded for free half of your cooldown, and you can get, like. Oh, not good. Nah, you ain't getting out alive, buddy. Nah. No. No! Die by my gourd. Okay. Well, we got the Knessa. That counts. It's Articuno, the legendary Pokemans. Ow. That hurts. Ouchies in my mouthy. Yeah, we're fun. Half the cooldown refunded and change the card. I think that's a good... I think that's good. How dare you pull me into you? I'm not into that. Hold on, I got the mines. I got the mines. I'm leaving. I'm <laughs> I just wanted to get the mines, dude. Oh, I'm trying to make the game more enjoyable for my people, right? My homies that I'm playing with. 
That's the thing, dude. There's so many things that I, I talk about where I hate it, like cardboard from Sati and now the mines from Kanessa. Drogos is flying infinitely where I'm just like, I'm going to focus on these things so my team doesn't have to deal with it. And once they're dead, everyone just gets a nice, like, just breath of fresh air. Well, we're probably going to die here. We're going to go for a stun on this homie. We got the stun, but we died. It's fine. No one saw. I bet a dollar that they'll change the card so it overall reduces it by 0.1 seconds. Well, then, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. That seems like a really easy fix that high res would do. And I would say that that card is absolute booty if it goes to that. Not worth it at all. Hit your shots more. That uh, Knesset looks a little laggy. This is a perfect example of trying to heal a person that's just bouncing around perfectly and just avoiding everything. Oh, it's the best, man. It's the best. Noink! Nailed it. <laughs> oh. Oh, she got leaped up from Azan. I would have nailed it. I swear I would have. What's happening? Oh, I think that's a bot. I think we'll just ult here to try to end this. I missed a lot. These mines are destroying me. Send help. Yep, I'm trying. Uh -oh. Get out of here, you willow, you little flying pest. Stop it. Oh, you got bounced again. Every time I try to hit these stunts, I get bounced. Thank you so much for blowing all my redemptions. You guys are the best. What about changing eerie presence to reward you for consecutive heals on different champions, i.e. one to two seconds for each unique champion so you can heal a full team easier? Bro, I love that idea, but not as a loadout card. I think that's a good talent. I think it's a fantastic talent. I think that, you know, people gripe about do more damage talents is rough and like boring, but so is like do more healing. You know, I, I think it's a good talent, but like, is it a fun talent? No, where's the end of, okay, we got decent healing, but you know what I'm saying? Like that would be a really fun talent where it's like for every consecutive heal that you hit, increase the heal or decrease the cooldown. I don't know. I don't know if I love the idea of having to do different, like unique champions, but that would be a good requirement, right? Cause like just being able to chain heal a person over and over again, that might be overpowered. I'm not, I'm not, no, I was, I was rubbing my hands together like, like smithers and good. I'm not, I'm just excited. I'm trying to think of how fun that build would, or how fun that talent would be. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that was, that was Damba without Eerie Presence and without Eerie Presence built into the kit that's supposed to be in the kit, but it doesn't work. And as you guys know, that we're not surprised. That happens sometimes as the PTS. Genos had 30 ammo with Binary Star and then he just got flat out buffed. But we still, we, 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 we dealt with it, right? We, we reloaded every 10 shots, kind of. I messed up once. And uh, this one, we play with no Eerie Presence. So at the end of this, this is making me realize I don't know if I care about Eerie Presence in my build at all. Like I, I can play without it. But again, why not put it in for the, for like, let's say I missed four times in a 20 minute game. It's not that many times. That's also very full of myself to assume that I'm only going to miss four times in a 20 minute match. But those loadout cards, is it worth sacrificing one point here and there and other things to make sure that my heal comes up immediately if I have Kronos 3 by the time I miss? I think so. I think it's worth it. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And also, again, let me know for the built-in eerie presence that they're going to put on Damba, what should be the number. A lot of chat is, is saying that 1.5, half of your cooldown should be refunded and then they should change the loadout card. And if you have any ideas of what they should change the loadout card to, pop that down there too. Maybe we'll pop them over high res's way, right? We can let Infernal know, get him with the AOC. Good stuff. We're making good changes for the game. Anyway, it's time for me to head out of here. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm not gonna be one of those people who asks you to like and subscribe, so I'm not gonna ask.